दिस वीडियो इज प्रिपेयर बाय आव्या क्लासेस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल रेज योर डाउट एंड वॉच द वीडियो फॉर श्योर सक्सेस इन जे एम सनीट The next problem is a block of mass m is attached with a massless spring of force constant k. The block is placed over a rough inclined surface for which coefficient of friction is mu equal to 3 by 4. The minimum value of m required to move the block up the plane is, and you have to neglect mass of string and pulley and also the friction in the pulley. And the angle theta is given here as as 37 degree. It is the standard. Angle and as we know that tan 37 degree is equal to 3 by 4. So sin 37 degree is equal to 3 by 5. Cos 37 degree is equal to 4 by 5. So how we will approach this problem? We just write the first. We will write the force equation and then the conservation of mechanical energy. and if you cannot if you will not be able to solve this problem then at least write as much as information possible so you have to calculate the minimum value of m required to move the block up the plane so first we will write the force equation on this block of a small mass m so this is m mass and as it is a, a frictional force is acting on it so first mg will act in the downward direction this angle is theta so this value is mg cos theta this is our reaction force r this for this uh, there is one force mg sin theta and this is the frictional force also frictional force is equal to mu r is equal to mu mg cos theta and the spring force will be equal to here kx if the object has been moved by a distance equal to x then the spring force will be equal to kx now if you see that when the uh, what, what is the the condition the condition is that the block has to move up so when the block will be just able to move up then the spring restoring force kx will counterbalance this uh, force in the downward direction along the plane so clearly kx is equal to mg sin theta plus mu mg cos theta and sin theta is equal to 3 by 5 so mg into 3 by 5 plus mu is equal to 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 mg into cos theta 4 by 5 so we get it's equal to 6 by 5 mg so kx is equal to 6 by 5 mg and x is equal to 6 mg by 5 k so from there we get the value of k and second is the if we apply the conservation of mechanical energy then the conservation of mechanical energy if we have to apply in this so as this spring is stressed by the value equal to x so this uh, mass m has been moved by a distance equal to x so if the mass m is moved by a distance equal to x then the decrease in potential energy is equal to mgx and this decrease basically this is the conservation of mechanical energy mechanical energy so this mgx will be converted into elastic potential energy as all frictional force are absent here so half k x square so from there you will get the value of mass m that is mg is equal to 1 by 2 kx and 1 by 2 kx is equal to 6 mg by 5 k so we get 6 mg by 10 is equal to mg and from there from there we get m is equal to 6 m divided by 10 that is 3 m divided by 5 so capital m will be the minimum value of capital m will be 3 by 5 m so even the value of m capital m is smaller than the small m still the it will be able to move the block of mass small m up the plane and it is a important concept so what we did in this problem we just write force equation or the free body diagram for this smaller for this mass small m and then we just apply conservation of mechanical energy for the mass capital m 
so it's very simple the problem seems too complex although if you try to solve it problem step by step it's very easy now we'll see next problem that a block of mass m is equal to 2 kg is moving with velocity v0 towards a massless unstressed spring of force constant k is equal to 10 newton divided by meter coefficient of friction between block and the ground is mu is equal to 1 by 5 find maximum value of v0 so that after pressing the spring the block does not return back but stop permanently so suppose that if I give a velocity equal to v0 it moves up to a distance x and then it will compress the spring through a distance x and stops here so what is meaning of this that the block does not return but stop permanently so when the block block compress the spring by a value equal to x then the spring restoring force will be equal to kx towards minus x axis so i just write it minus x this is our plus x so and 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 the frictional force will be act towards plus x direction and the value will be equal to frictional force value is equal to mu mg so clearly when the block does not return so what it means it means kx must be less than or equal to mu mg K, the force kx is not sufficient to counterbalance the frictional force that's why the body is not able to move back so in this way we write x must be less than or equal to mu mg divided by k and in the case of limiting value that is we have to calculate the maximum value of v0 so in limiting case we just take it equal so x is equal to mu mg by k so the maximum value of x in the limiting case the maximum value of x is equal to mu mg divided by k, k and mu is equal to 1 by 5 m is equal to 2 g is 10 and k is equal to 10 so we get the value of x is equal to 2 by 5 that is 0 0.4 meter so this block has compressed the spring by a distance equal to 0 0.4 meter now we have to apply now we will apply the work energy theorem and the work energy theorem says that the work done by all forces whether it's conservative or non-conservative is equal to change in kinetic energy so work done by this spring force will be equal to see if you see the spring then the displacement in this uh, displacement the, of the object will be towards this direction the spring restoring force in the opposite direction so work done by spring is equal to 1 by minus 1 by 2 into kx square Sim, uh, similarly if you consider the frictional force then the frictional force will act towards the minus x direction and the object moves towards the plus x direction so the work done will be negative so work done by frictional force is equal to minus mu mg and its value is 1 plus x distance is 1 plus x so minus mu mg into 1.4 and this and this is the work done by frictional force and change in kinetic energy is equal to final kinetic energy is equal to 0 and the initial kinetic energy is 1 by 2 mv0 square so if i add it up then minus 1 by 2 kx square minus mu mg into 1.4 is equal to minus 1 by 2 mv0 square so, so basically work energy theorem is very important to understand i have already explained it uh, in my previous classes and clearly you have to calculate this work done you just take the sign in the consideration that what is the direction of force what is the direction of displacement it comes with the positive sign or the negative sign and apply it so from there we get the value of 1 by 2 kx square plus mu mg into 1.4 is equal to 1 by 2 into mv0 square now we put the value 
so the value of k is 10 so 1 by 2 into 10 so the value of k is c the value of k is 10 into value of x is equal to 4 by 10 or 2 by 5 so 2 by 5 square plus mu mz value of mu is 1 by 5 so 1 by 5 m is equal to 2 g is equal to 10 and 1.5 1.4 is equal to 1 by 2 into 2 into v square so now we will solve it and we see that that v0 square is equal to 4 into 1.4 plus 1 by 2 into 10 into 4 divided by 25 so the value comes equal to 5.6 plus 0 0.8 and it's equal to 6.4 so v0 square is equal to 6.4 and v0 is equal to square root 6.4 meter per second so answer will be a square root 6.4 meter per second so all these this problem are not complex these are easy problem they seems to complex you just apply work energy theorem conservation of mechanical energy uh, you just need to write free body diagram and then solve accordingly.